Today we're taking Pakistan's longest train journey. We're going from Karachi here in the south all the way up to Peshawar. So we're pretty much traveling across the whole of Pakistan. I reckon it should take about 30 hours. Should be fun, eh? How much are you looking forward to this leash? Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> so here we go, we're just waiting for the train now on this platform. Hello, Salam alaikum. How are you? I'm very good, how are you? I'm Kesio. I'm glad about Raman Baba. Uh, yes. Uh, but this platform. Uh, uh, this Nehi? No. No, this platform, okay. Super sir, cheers. So these men are the porters. If you want your bags carrying, you're carrying loads of luggage, they carry it down the platform for you. On the head. You might have seen a man doing it in the intro. So yeah, let's go. So here's our ticket. We're on the Raman Baba. Express, right? And we're in AC business. Now this actually costs 10,500 rupees, which is like 30 quid. So it ain't that cheap. I mean, there was only a little bit of difference between AC business and AC standard. So I don't think we'll quite be living the luxurious life. But AO, here we go. So here you can see, the train tracks are a bit of a mess actually, look at this. It's just like a bin. That ain't great. Anyway, we're waiting for the train. So, no idea what to expect. Let's see how this goes. Here she is, people. The Raman Baba Express. She's loud. So, let's see. We need to find our spot now, don't we? Find our car. Car 16 we're in. 16? No way, first one. This is it. Number 16. This is us. Oh, bloody hell. Would you believe it? Doors stop right next to us. Is this one? 16. Okay. Okay. We get on, okay? Oh, no, it's okay here. We get on here. So here's our train. I think this is it, Lee. She looks thrilled. Sorry, it's just a bit overwhelming when people keep following me around asking for stuff. <laughs> it's hot, but I still feel delicate. Oh, yep, yeah. I'll tell everyone that story when we do a toilet check. Alright, let's take the bag off. Here we go. Um, G, wasn't it? What? No, it's numbers. It's numbers? No, it can't be numbers. Um, might have to ask for some help then off someone, to be honest. To find out which one we're in. Let's see. How is it? Right, we'll show you when we find it. G, G? Anyone in? Okay, shukriya, sir. Wait. Hey. What? Business class. Business class! Whoa! Here we go, everyone. So, there's six of us in here. You can see one of the beds falls down and then the person on the bottom is like a sandwich and they suffocate. Hopefully, it's just me and Leash here, but I highly doubt it. I so, mean, if you're hungry, a few bits of crumbs. <laughs> so we've got a big bad boy desk. Full of crumbs. Full of crumbs, yeah, oh well, we can wipe it down. So if you're a digital nomad, you can flip in, do some work here. We won't be doing that. Um, we've got a fan. It's called AC Business, so there will be AC, I can... Oh, there's a Cornetto in the roof. There's a Cornetto in the roof. Oh my God, it's a full Cornetto. Someone literally popped that up into the AC to like freeze it again because it started to melt. Can you see that, people? That's a clever man. That's a clever person. What else have we got? Some reading lights. Wait, oh, maybe they work when the train's moving, but right now, no. Oh gosh. We've got some USB outlets, mobile charging point. That's the AC, so we can swizz it up and down, can we? Is that the fan? Well, let's not play with that. I don't know what that is. What's this? Oh, we've got rooftop lights. Oh, and the, the fan works. What do you think, Lee? Um, I really hope it's just us. If it is, it'd be nice and chilled yeah, in here. I know. I don't think it will. Be. Well, we might get some nice um, friends. We've got a luggage rack. Look at this. Pop the bags on here. How's the door? Let's see. Oh, it's a mirror. Hello, mate. We can lock ourselves in as well. I don't know why we would do that. Maybe so no one 
comes in, throws us out the window. No smoking in here as well. Big up. I think that's room tour. Oh, how's the beds? Well, it's like a fabric material, isn't it? I thought it'd be like that plastic, but it's like a fabric. Fabric games. Bed bugs. We have bed bug trauma, we can't help it. We've had some bad experiences, unfortunate experiences. There's a bin which looks a bit rank. Right, that's enough. That's enough for the tour. Let's get settled in. The next 30 hours. 30 hours. Yours a dance leash, give you best. No, go on, get up. Best 30 hour dance. Best Pakistani train dance. Oh wow, very beautiful. No, thank you. There's a lady selling some bead necklaces here. So I think we're full. I think we're a six man. Salam alaikum sir, how are you? Salam sir, how are you? Very good. Where are you going to? I'm going to Islamabad. Islamabad, okay. Where okay, is this one here? Oh, do you want to put it underneath here? Go on. Go on. Two? Two. Two? Two. So, there must be some other person Okay. Yeah. So we are full, there is six of us in here. And our mate is on till Islamabad, which is like, I think more than half the journey. So we're, we're in here for the night. It'll be alright though. Seems like a great block. But the hope and dreams of having our own cabin have been crushed. <laughs> Look at the state of this people. The porters put a bit of a shift in to be fair. Have they? Put their backs into it, just push this suitcase under there. I kid you not, the suitcase was like up here, they've like scrunched it under. So we've got a full family on. Typical me, English style, everywhere we go, any public transport. Um, it's just what happens, isn't it? The, um, the screamers. Your favourite, my favourite. The nation? Oh, it's in English. What do you want it? No, I'm just having a look. This is the Paki mm. Pakistani news. Do you, do you want it, sir? No? <laughs> okay. No. no. We don't like the news, my friend. Don't, don't like the news. Let's ignore the news. Mm. You got a newspaper, Lee? Yeah. Right, everyone. To escape the crying babies, we'll go and do a train tour. And genuinely, I kid you not, I think every other compartment has like one person in. Apart from ours, you've got the fullest one on the train, there are like 10 people in. That is just my look. So, someone in a toilet? No, we can have a look. So, this is the toilet, everyone. Wow, look, we've got a very nice little water jug there to um, wash away your business. It's a bit of a shambles, but. You know, we've all seen squat toilets before. What do you reckon? Is it pooable? Let us know. Would you enjoy your poo? Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Everyone's thinking I'm a freak now. Now what's in here? This room smells fantastic, so I don't know what's in here. Of oh. course. Assalamu alaikum. Ki kitchen. Oh wow, I did not know there was a kitchen. That's a treat, look at this. We've got, what, what is this? Rice. Rice? Also making rice? Wow, the boiling rice. Okay, super. Shukriya. Okay. Right. Kitchen. Right. On board. I'm boxed in now. I'll have to wait for these lads. So there's your toilet and kitchen toilet. Now, I hope we don't need to use that toilet. Because let me tell you, me and Lee still have... We're just going to say delicate stomachs. We've had some problems the past few days. Hello, sir. How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Smells very good in here, doesn't it? So we'll try and get. Hello, sir. How are you? Nice to meet you. Can I come through here? Shukriya. Okay, thank you. Right, there's your toilet tour, train tour. What's happening, Lee? I can't panic. The train's setting off. So oh, you thought it? I wasn't here? <laughs> oh, I'm here. Don't worry. I was just looking at the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what you have to do. <laughs> so I also thought on the business class, I thought they had tables outside the room. So like when you want to one leash. So when you want to, you know, come out the cabin and sit down, you could sit here. 
or next to the window, but it appears we've um, pulled the short straw and we just have the cabins, but uh, as you can see here, there's nobody in them. Why does this always happen to us? Worst luck on planet Earth. Right, anyway, that's the ladies one. Setting off. Phones are going, we're going. Hello. The shower, here we come. Right everyone, here we are then. Heading out of Karachi and you can see the train station area is a little bit rough. See we've got some plastic fires, quite a bit of litter. Salam alaikum. Some kids bouncing on the trampoline, look at that. That cheers you up, doesn't it? Well this is what it's like here on the outskirts. I've actually escaped the cabin because it's just um, an onslaught of three, three screens of children and I'm too hungry. I can't deal with it. So we're just going to spend our 30 hours stood at the door here, it seems. Right. Next to the toilet. I thought you'd use while the train is stationary. Now that is because I think when you do a poo in there, I think it goes straight onto the track. Nobody wants to poo on the platform. <laughs> uh, I need to make sure I don't fall off here. I couldn't think of anything worse than falling off this train here. Out of everywhere. Right. Bloody hell, everyone. The Raman Baba Express. The business class experience. You get a nice wave off everyone, though. Just gone for a bit of a wander down the train, found another squat toilet and it's covered in shite. But there's tissue, so at least you can wipe your bum. I found a sitting toilet. I mean, the seat's hanging off, but yeah, we found one. A seated toilet. Get in. All right. So we'll just keep going, if we can, for a bit of a wander down here. Look at this, window's gone. Oh, I tell you what, this feels like it needs to replace it. It feels like it's a snap. Honestly, that does not feel secure. What have we got? Just loads of... Oh, no way. What's this? This is AC standard. Why is it tied? Oh, I think it's tied, actually. So we can't go in there, or so they can't go in here. Oh, no, it's not tied. It's open. What's that? So what's this? This is AC standard. This is AC standard. Let's have a little walk through just to show you what it's like in here. Can we get back out there? Yeah. So let's go for a quick walk through. I think that's what this is AC standard. And it seems quieter than business class. Would you believe it? So, yeah. What can we say? Sorry, mate. Sit there, really getting everyone's way. So we could just go and sit in here. Come on, welcome. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Is this AC standard? Oh, okay. I've just come for a walk just to have a look. It's okay here. It's quite cool. It's quite cool, everyone. Why is it cleaner than business? I don't understand. What is your name? Mohamed Hassan. Mohamed Hassan. My name is Ellis. 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 That's a question. Fine. Fine, super. We just got home. We are going all the way to Peshawar. Peshawar. 30 hours. Very long. We're in for one here. I'm just taking a walk, mate. Just having a look. That's funny. That's the guy who works here, he's thinking, what am I doing in here? The chairs are quite comfy though. They're comfier than ours, because they're quite nice. Yeah, they Like, um, my wife, my wife, business class. Like, my wife. I've just come to have a look in here. But AC standard is very good. I think this is very comfy. You know, it's, it's thick padding. So this is the bed. Oh, so this comes down into a bed. Yes. Oh, so then you can lie on here. So this is your bed. Your bed. You go to Islamabad? 
Punjab. Okay, he's going somewhere in Punjab. I like it here. I wish we were in here. Can you believe it? Okay, my friend. Thank nice you. to meet you. I'm going to go back to my wife. Welcome. Okay. Have a safe journey. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. There we go. I'm a flying guest in here. And now we're back out. You can even put a blanket up if you want a bit of privacy. Right. Mistakes have been made. We should just be in there. It's miles nicer. Like a million times nicer. I can't believe it. And instead, we sold the business. And you know, paid an extra 1,000, 2,000 rupees or whatever for screaming children. And just to be like a sardine can. How bad enough? How bad enough? Put me in the bin. I'd rather be in the bin. By these train tracks, it's very dusty. It falls all in your eyes. Hey, morning, they push me off there. I won't want to be falling off here. Bloody hell, what would I do? We're just driving through the most random small towns, villages. It's super, it's alright. I do like train travel because you get to see what a country's like properly. Away from the big cities and stuff. Just in your everyday, average, normal places. Best way to travel. Say what though, we're starving. We're not eating anything, we're trying to avoid food just to not shit on ourselves. Maybe we'll have to eat some to see what they have, maybe get to see, I don't know. Yeah. So I've just gone to the toilet and then I just find this highly amusing. When you do look down and you can see the tracks below. I don't know why I just found that funny. I had to share that with you all. Do we have running water? Yes we do. Yes it. Toilet party. Okay. Uh, keep it open okay. and make a video. We can get charge for the charge for the how much is that? Chicken beer. Yes. Just chicken, no beef. No beef, no chicken. Okay. Please come and get one. Okay. And do you have kawa? Kawa with green tea. Green tea, black kawa. Can I get one green tea? Okay. 120. Okay, super. But biryani, can you have a bit? Chasu, for chasu. What does that mean? How much is that? I guess in there, 450. 450? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. One plate. Yeah, do you bring it here? One plate. Yeah, one plate, okay. So we're gonna get chicken biryani and a green tea. Hello sir. Hopefully this will be an alright idea. And it won't go in one end and come out the other. Two hours later. Get one of them toilets. Let's see. Might be really tasty. We've gone past the major cities that stops. I think we can jump off. And the train stops for like 10, 20 minutes to get some food. So we'll just do this, whatever, see how it is. I mean, they do have a kitchen on the train. So the food's coming from that. It can't even be that bad. Let's see, let's review it for you all there. Soon it's going to be golden hour. We can show you some of the beautiful sunset views. Great. Keep it in high spirits. I'm trying my best. Leash is in there. Just wanted to jump off the train, I think. I think that would be a feeling summed up. 
I did not expect this. I'll tell you that for free. Let's swap here with Leash. We okay? Right, people, I, I genuinely did not expect this. We've got a giant plate of chicken biryani. Let's see the chicken in there. I'm gonna, I am gonna. don't want to drop any of this in the fucking... Oh, as I said it, I dropped some. So what have we got? Some pickle? What's this? Some like curry sauce with a bit of oil. Let's try and unearth that chicken in there for you. You can see, that's a giant piece of chicken. God. What would you not do if you had a belly problem on the train? Probably this. But well, we're doing it anyway. So let's actually taste it. It might be really good to be fair. Looks quite good. There's even potato in there. Let's try it. Let's see. Quite good to be fair. Salty. Spicy. Quite salty, though, I believe. You like this? I'm not. You put too much salt in, you're running a fine line. It's really tasty, too far, actually. Quite good. Let's try the chicken. And this sauce as well, actually. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's very, I was about to say it's very mild. It's a, I don't know. This is quite spicy, this food. I'm liking it. Let's try the chicken and the pickle. Okay. I don't know. What tea are we on? He ordered this tea, yeah. Oh, what is it? It is a milk tea. Oh, it appears we've got a milk tea. What did okay. You I thought he had a green tea. No, but... I ordered milk tea too. Oh, this is oh, <laughs> she said. This is your tea. <laughs> sorry. sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Stealing our passengers tea. <laughs> so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll try this chicken here, look. We've got a bit of that chicken on. Let's see how it is. Cheers. Oh, to be fair. It's quite good. It's a half decent biryani, not the best I've ever had, but it's quite good. It really contains the spices, the full peppercorns in there and stuff. Mm. Not as good as one we had with that. Let us pray. It's a big, heavy plate, that. It's dull, that as well, I think. This little bad point. But it's not too bad. Sitting down here, to be fair, watching the countryside go by. Obviously, as I've said that, we've got a terrible view of the train station in a small town, but at some points the view is nice. We're so going through deserts, you know, like banana plantations and whatnot. I'll try and show you at sunset. Also, I've got a green tea, which should be good for us. So here we go. Meza. Ultra rich. Premium I see. Not just any old tea. See that? Premium. Cheers. I like that. That is quite good. How much sugar did you put in? Did it taste good? Hot though. It's having to on actually that cold, like the earth probably. It still feels really hot, but so when we get further north it's going to get cold. So. Some more village life for your people. Or a small town life. We're here in Nawabsha. Look, all the cows, chickens. The apparent landfill. But look at this, it's like everyone's farm. Everyone gives you a wave back though. 
just made me think the people of these smaller towns are probably really friendly. Probably really nice people. And video like video, yeah. yeah. Don't don't push me off. Yes. Hey, no. No, 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 push no, me no, off. no, no. So here we go people, look at this. A beautiful sunset here in Sindh province, southern Pakistan. In the countryside. Yes, yes, yes. There is royal king. This is like chewing chewing tobacco. King, that's what? Chew, spit. Yeah. And it makes you like a... Yes, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. These lads are offering me the guns. What is it? The Roy royal king. Yeah, royal oh, king. Oh, okay, super. <laughs> Right, looking out character. Yeah. Not in the mood for any of that. It's my, 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 Okay, my, yes, my, Okay, my, 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 to be fair, it's quite nice. The earth quality is quite clear. It's green. It's nice to be fair. This part of the countryside is very nice. Yes. 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 How do you feel? I know English. Oh, no problem. Yes. Pakistan, good. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, no, no. Right, everyone, them lads. They're off the shops. Decent arms, like. Decent lads. Just off their head. So we're going to go to this door, where we can have a quiet minute to look at the sunset. Just a quiet one. Let's see. Let's see what we can um, do here. Right, of course it's clear. Now it is a bit windy, but I'm just going to show you the view. That sunset is beautiful. You can see the full sun. Earth quality is alright as well, isn't it? so many of them derail, like we, we've driven past some that have just flown off the track because it's smashed to smithereens. It's a bit of a madness. You see them like completely destroyed at the side of the track. Ah, that's enough, there we go. There's your sunset view. I mean, look at that for a few people. The sunset like reflecting on that water. It's an nice one. It is an nice one. Right everyone, so we had our biryani, our tea. We paid the man a thousand rupees for it. It was only like, what, 550? And the change, I think, has disappeared into the nerve. I've asked about five times now. And he just keeps saying, he just keeps nodding. Guess my change gone forever? A pound of rupees, it's a fair bit of change. With that, I could buy a blanket and a pillow to sleep with. No, thank you, sir. He's selling snacks. See, we've now got a mission, get the change back. Will we ever see it again? I don't know. I don't know. He also promised me a bottle of Coke three hours ago from that change. A bottle of Coke's nowhere to be seen. Got a feeling he's lying to me, innit? Was ever a time to use the phrase salt law is this train we're gonna go on a late night side quest to try and get this change back from our mate here let's see how this one goes eh? will we get it back has it gone it's a black hole pakistani train black hole let's see i don't have any hope I can't go in there anyway. That's for certain. Unreal. Unreal. Unreal the cabin. On 
this entire strip is happily chilling out, let down, sleeping on the beds. Pause. It's a crash. It's a flipping crash. Now, can, I can, I, can I have my change, please? Yeah. Change? Now? Yeah, what up? Can we get now? So, biryani? 450? Yeah. Tea? 120? 570? Yeah. 570? So 4.30. Now? Change? Yeah. Now, now, now. Five now, now, now. No, not five, five minutes. Minute. No, 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 no. You said five minutes last time, yeah. so now. Yeah? Ah. Oh, so, is it, is it very funny? Funny? No, no, no. No, not funny? Better, better. Can we get the change now? Yeah. Uh, now, not in five minutes. See what I mean? So I'm just gonna keep asking, and then I'm gonna give it. Because they're obviously just trying to pick like flipping wizard in the pocket, which is it's not right, is it? Not where to treat treat someone using the service in the country. Bastards, eh? You are. Okay. green to some places through little towns you know it's all right so a bit tired but we'll do be right so we've just hit Rawal Pindi which means we've only got another three or four hours left and there's good news, pretty much everyone got off the train there. So now I'm here, it's just me and Leash. Look at this, this is the life. The open roads. Peace and quiet. How nice is this? So we've got a happy four hours ahead. Nine. Right everyone, we're about to head over the Indus River. Check this out. One of the longest rivers in the world. Look at this. Wow. What a view. Starts in Tibet, comes down through India, and then down through the whole of Pakistan. Nice views around here. So we're actually now crossing from 
Punjab province into KPK up in the northwest of Pakistan. Wow. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this bridge and all. Proper, proper railway bridge. Waiting for this, the old journey. So we're now in KPK. How about that? It's nice around here. Mountainous. Pollution's a bit shit though. As you can see, it's a bit hazy pollution. As we got into this corner of Pakistan, it's a bit, a bit stinky. Down in Karachi, like always said, it was clear. Here it's a bit smoggy. Look, we got some lads playing cricket down there. I don't know if you can see. Oh no, they're not playing cricket. Oh, they are playing cricket. Military shooting practice. Look at the landscapes around here. Totally different to the rest of the journey. Show you some more of the views on the other side. Look at this. Check that out. quality everyone. It's like the end of the world. It's awful. What do you think of that leech? It's the end of the world. Mad Max? It's not looking too fresh, is it? I don't think it's good for your lungs. It's like a cloud of orange smog. Alright, here we are people, the ancient city of Peshawar, there we go, 30 hours later we're here and it's cold, it's quite cold here, bloody hell the Remen Baba Express, or I'm going to call it the High Cortisol Level Express, yeah, a long 30 hours later, so the sun's about to go down, we need to get a, a rickshaw, taxi to the room don't we to a hotel we don't actually have a hotel so we're just gonna try one and hopefully they'll accept foreigners fingers crossed otherwise that'll be a pain in the ass hopefully they don't let's be hopeful let's be hopeful which way is out yes, this way let's go bye lads so we're off so this block here very nice block just trying to help us Telling the guy where to go. We don't ask for any help, he's just doing it for us. Nice chap. Straight away as soon as you get off to it, people are pretty nice. Okay? Okay, okay. Give me a rupee, how many rupees? 300. 300? Okay. 300 rupee. So I think a car on Indriver is actually 300. But it doesn't matter, oh well. And. Instantly, instantly big up to Peshawar because they got the doors. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, we're in. We're in. Right. It's like a ten minute drive, so fingers crossed this hotel lets us stay. Let's see. Cheers. The Etihad Hotel. 
Right, let's get out of here. Oh, sh it's a Titan. Up here. Yeah. Right, let's see. Will he take us? Let's okay. ask. Go on after you leash. Doing a bit of mopping, that's not looking good. Salam alaikum. Are we coming? Okay. Never want to walk over someone's mopping. Let's see. You know, because they've just done it, it's fresh. Let's see. Well, they've not shooed us out straight away, so. Okay. No problem. Oh, shit. Let's see what our mates say. Oh, the manager has gone out. Okay, no problem. Okay, but we can stay here, okay? I think we can stay here. Just wait for the manager a little bit, however long that is. Yeah, we could be here for two hours, Lee. I don't know, I've just done 30 hours. I feel like I'm moving. <laughs> you? Yeah, I bet we'll be laying in bed tonight thinking we're on the train yeah, like that. Right. Right. Are you the manager? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. From? From England. England, yes. Is it okay if we stay at this hotel? Uh, one room? Yeah, for two nights, please. Two nights? Yes. Oh. Right, looks good, we'll check the rooms out. So here we go, everyone. I'm going to show you how it is at the Itihad Hotel. So, we've got this down to 5,000 a night, done a bit of wheeling and dealing. And to be fair, it's not too bad. So we've got our little twin bed set up, blanket, it's quite chilly. Um, this is ground water for drinking, the man tells us. And then we've got the bathroom, let's check the bathroom out. So we've got a seated toilet which is good. The flush doesn't work so it will be on the uh, bucket flush. And then we've got a sink. Oh the shower, it's our favourite, the drain pipe shower. All time favourite. Let's see. Well, it should be hot in the morning when it's freezing cold, I don't know. But to be fair, it's not that bad. But still, it's like 15 quid, so. Carpet like floor. Cheap, isn't it? For, yeah. For what you get. Comparable to In the world, trades, yeah. So here she is, the Etihad Hotel. I'm going to show you one more thing. Leisha's pillow. Ellis. Go on, show us in here, Leisha. Ellis thinks it's bed bug poo, it's not. It's mouth. No. I'm just saying. It's because it's been damp and someone's sweated on it and it's not dried properly. Well, I'm and just saying. Humid. That's Guess just what? that's just a recurring theme at pillows in that South Asia, they're always like that, but we could do without. Could, yeah. So to end the video we'll just nip out literally on the street outside the hotel and try and grab just a quick bit of food, anything whatsoever. Literally anything, something fast. Right everyone, this street is so busy, like at night time, look at this, it's heaving and I think there's been a power cut because half the shops have no electricity and it's dark I think. So we need to get away from this flipping fish fry here, sorry sir, they're walking into people and trying to get across their own into their restaurant, see what they've got, they've got kebabs and stuff, but as you can see it's well busy, let's go. Let's see what they've got in here. Just something quick, just like a kebab, bread, meat, bread. That's all we need. There we got chicken. Salam alaikum. Chicken. What are these? These look like kebabs, like chicken maybe. This chicken? Chicken. Okay. Do they have bread as well? Yeah, I think so, yeah. This. Beef, beef, beef. Making them all in the back house. Okay, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, should we get some kebabs and bread? Yeah, but well, does he have any bread? Well, I might have to no, get it from across the road. Across the road yeah. Okay, let's go in here. Maybe we can eat here on this little table if he lets us. Hi. Hello. Oh, wait, eat here? Okay. Good, good. Right, so we can sit here with a. Uh... Good. What do you want? I want one of these kebabs. You want big? Yes. Wait, big piece. Uh, one piece. Two. Two pieces. And you have naan? Naan? Naan, big naan. Two, two. Two, two naan. Two, two naan. Okay. So we're just going to eat a few of them. Beef kebabs and naan. 
So we are right on the street here, look at this. Next to everyone, frying goods. You know, it's all going on. Literally every single thing on the street is selling food, so. I'm a bit tired, that's why I can't form a sentence properly. I mean, I usually can't form sentences well anyway, but. Oh wow, let's have a look. He's pacing his bread. Can I have a look? Can I have a look? Oh. Two, yeah, yeah. Two, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just... Okay, I'm just looking, it's very good. And in here, here he's making them fresh. Sir, G. Oh, okay. Salam alaikum. I'm just going to have a look. Just a quick look. <laughs> Hello, sir. This is the beef kebab? Yes. Beef, okay. Wow, it looks very good. So he's making everything fresh. Yeah, you can see we've got the minced meat. Just throwing it onto these skewers. I guess he's going to get busy because he's making a lot. Okay, banana. Yeah. Right, just a quick look there for you, bro. Okay, man. Banana. Uh, two, please. Two naan. So, this should be alright, at least. This. The, kebab looks, the kebabs look really good. He's making them fresh. I know, he's grilling them fresh. Yeah. I was going to look at them. I was saying, can I look at them? Obviously, because we don't understand each other. He's like, sit down, sit down. I'm like, no, I just want to look. Here we go. So busy. Peshawar, busiest place to be in Pakistan, yeah? Wow. It's mental. Night time, it's come alive. Lots of stirs. Which I expected. We'll talk more about that tomorrow in the, the first proper video here. Yeah. And here is our tea for the night. Just a quick, easy number. We've got the fresh bread, which is very hot. It's just come off the grill, you give it a nice little toss. Smoke coming off that kebab, though. Them kebabs are well <laughs> fresh. So he said beef. Beef kebabs. And then we got this little. Um, Mystery number. Don't know what it is, but it's going to be good. Great. Are they going to be too hot? Let's try them. Starving. Good bread? Yeah, really good. Alright, let's rip some of these kebabs up. Oh, they are hot. Oh, very hot. But there we go. Obviously, we'll give it a big dip as well. And cheers. Oh, what? Good kebab, that. Oh, wow. That's, well That's a really tasty kebab. You know what? It smells really good as well, like. It smells well in here. It's got pepper, balls of that pepper, you can see. I don't know what's in it's that. It's well, whatever it is. It looks boring. Believe me, it tastes really good. That's good enough. Maybe that's a mind there. Not all. It's a bit sour. It's just so good after a few salt and bread. Wait, here's the tea. Yeah. That's all, everyone. Super. I like it when the people are run the place. For watching you for your approval while she eats it. I don't care about the food. Um, got a coke? Yeah. Let's get one coke. Egg, egg coke, please. Okay. Which hopefully will be real coke because we're in Pakistan. We've got fake drinks. I googled it. They're always being raided. They make fake drinks like dodgy tap water and all kinds of their own recipe, which is mad. I think we have one in Lahore. <laughs> Our cokes arrive, and it's here. In another suspicious looking bottle, but it's just a glass bottle, so maybe it's just a normal recycle bottle. See, it's 2011 on. But then at the top, actually, it's got an official stamp. I can't really read it. January 2025. Nice, right. This one's a real coke. It's very gassy, so it must be real. Yeah, the last one we had was like flat. Flat, yeah, it's dodgy. That tastes like coke. Watch this. Flipping floating straw. Mad. Leash wants to get another because it's that good. Let's get one more in there now. Peach? See how much that ran us? No idea. We didn't even ask. But I like that about Pakistan. We don't ask anyway because you don't really need to because everyone's always honest. You don't have to worry about someone charging you a silly price. 
from our experience so far anyway. Which is great. Gosh, look, it's still absolutely heaving like it's just an auto traffic jam. So busy. But it's good. It's a good energy, you know? It's a really good energy on this street. Keep that up. Money is no problem. Come on. Yeah. Are you sure? Come on. Okay. Two hundred rupees. Two hundred rupees. Two hundred. Two hundred rupees. Are you sure? I have twenty here. Look. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank okay. Where's boss, ma'am? Let's say goodbye to the boss, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. Alright, so they actually weren't going to let us pay. Which is really kind. Then we just said, go on, mate. And he just showed us 200, which I'm pretty sure is not what it's meant to be, but. Salam alaikum. Fish fry, fish fry. Chicken. Wow. Chicken. This man's letting me have a quick look, he's saying get the lights on. Oh wow! Oh chicken! Okay, looks very good. Chukriya. Okay. Oh he's frying chicken now, he had, he had fish in before, now he's got chicken in. Chicken and fish. Okay, good night. The fish looks really good, we might have to try that while we're here. Well, first impression, just the, the outside of our hotel. People are well now, it's like I said, 200. Obviously, it weren't 200, were it Lee? Awesome. We he just took awesome. 200. Yeah. Well, lovely gentleman. Alright, looking forward to it. When we get to the hotel, we'll round it off. Alright then, we're back in the palace. And to be honest, it's actually not that bad. The manager is really nice. The security bloke at the front, really nice guy. So yeah, that might have been the greatest 30 hours of the year so far. I loved every second of it. I'd do another 60 hours if I could. Let us know, would you take that train across the whole country? Or would you rather walk? <laughs>